In thinking about an introduction for him, I quickly realized there's nothing that's going to beat his own words. So I'm going to share a couple of snippets from his writings over the years. And as I do so, think about you know, what would be your guess when he wrote them. So here's one. The bottom line is that many of the investors setting the prices in today's markets don't care about valuation. I get no sense at all that the analysts and portfolio managers backing the large cap growth stocks and internet high flyers can imagine prices at which there would be mere holds or heaven forbid, sells. When do you think this was written? This was 99. So yeah, there's something to say about uh, the timeliness of what our guest uh, writes. And here's one more. Uh, this is from the uh, last 10 years. In the end, buyers took out the biggest mortgage possible given their incomes and prevailing interest rates. Such mortgages would land them in the houses of their dreams and will leave them there as long as conditions did not deteriorate, which they invariably do. Any way you slice it, standards for mortgage loans have dropped in recent years and risk has increased. Logic-based? Perhaps. Cycle-induced and exacerbated? I'd say so. Certainly, mortgage lending was made riskier. We'll see in a few years whether that was intelligent risk-taking or excessive competitive order. When was this? This was 2007. And we are a few years from there, and we've seen what happened.